Hey guys, how you doing? So recently I decided to make some cookies, but when I went to the store they had run out of baking powder. So instead I decided to buy some bicarbonate of soda. I mean that was pretty misleading actually because it had pictures of brownies on the front. But let's just say when I used it, the results were less than desirable. Hmm. So what do you think? Any good? Yeah, never use bicarbonate soda on its own. I learned that the hard way. The cookies were really bitter. Like, it actually tastes like feet. But anyway, that got me thinking about, like, the cooking shows that we see on TV and when something goes wrong in them and they don't have time to change it. Welcome back to Ready, Set, Prepare Food, where our contestants bring in raw ingredients for the chefs to cook. Both teams have now finished cooking and we shall now start with presenting the red team's food. Right, so I've made a really simple rice dish. I mean, it just has beef and other vegetables together and delicious. Oh my god, this actually tastes like feet. I paid for this. What have you done to my food? Um. <coughs> Cut to commercial. Yeah, no, just once, I'd love to see the contestants having a negative reaction to the food that's been prepared for them. Like, I can imagine them having to sign a contract saying that they'll enjoy the food no matter how bad it tastes. Sign the contract and your family will not be harmed. Okay, I I'll sign it. But then there's those TV shows where they try and cook stuff for you at home, and notice how they always say it smells amazing or it tastes great. Yeah, I always think they're boasting to the camera I mean, just to make it sound good, when in reality, it could probably taste like crap. Right, so I've made a delicious chicken and white sauce. I mean, it's made with fresh cream and also the best bits of chicken breast. And it's just so easy to make. I mean, this actually smells amazing. Here, a little bit here. Oh, this smells rank. Oh my god, I feel sick. Mmm. As you can tell, that is delicious. This tastes nasty. So what I wanted to ask you was, have you ever made anything that was so disgusting that you had to throw it away? I mean, every time I see food get thrown away, it actually breaks my heart a little. You know, it's a sad time, seriously. It's depressing. But do not take me to the buffet place, because I will clean up all those plates that I see on tables. There's so much food that goes to waste. And that's how I got my family nickname. Awesome, my first birthday card. It's a fat boy. Happy birthday. Son of a... I think my family actually thinks that is my name now. I mean, last time I checked my passport, it said fat boy. I don't even dare to check my birth certificate. But anyway, it is time for phrase of the week now. The word was definitely not ask. I mean, the ones that thought that... Psh, Get out of here. Anyway, it was Chinese New Year this week as well, so I hope you've all had a great start to the year. It's a year of the dragon as well, which sounds pretty awesome. I mean, it comes around once every 12 years, so let's enjoy it, yeah? Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video, and I hope you all have a great week. Cheerio!